Greetings from Manipal Hospital, Baner, Pune. I am Dr. Karan Sanchalani. I am a radiation oncologist. Today we will be talking about head and neck tumors, especially the laryngeal tumors. So larynx, oropharynx are, uh, are deep-seated sites inside the uh, aerodigestive tract, wherein surgery is quite morbid and difficult. Additionally, we have very good facilities uh, for radiation delivery these days. And it has been more than three decades now that radiation therapy is the standard of care for laryngeal and oropharyngeal tumors. Before uh, starting radiation, we need to screen certain criteria for uh, laryngeal preservation as we call. So we can preserve the voice box of the patient, preserve the oropharyngeal path or the path of uh, swallowing uh, with radiation techniques and still have comparable results. But there are certain criteria before choosing such patients. So, especially the architecture of the larynx and the function of the swallowing should be well preserved before starting treatment. If it is already compromised, then such cases should be considered for surgery. Coming to radiation, radiation typically is delivered in a five day per week cycle over seven weeks. So the typical dose usually goes to 70 gray. There are certain neck nodal areas also which are draining these larynx or oropharyngeal tumors. Being midline structures, there are equal chances of uh, getting on either side of the neck and hence usually a bilateral treatment is required. We can spare certain neck nodal regions depending upon the stage and extent of the disease and the uh, patient profile and certain areas can be uh, delivered a lesser dose if it is safe to deliver. So typically 63 to 70 gray is the prescription dose to be delivered over 7 weeks. These, uh, this dose can be delivered with 3D CRT, IMRT and IGRT technique. Although with 70 gray level of doses, it is safer to deliver with IMRT and IGRT. With modern techniques, uh, uh, side effect profile of the uh, radiation delivery improves. So 3D CRT is one of the uh, conventional techniques wherein we uh, do not have the option of modulation of uh, the beam intensity thereby there are uh, more doses that are delivered to the critical structures around. With IMRT and IGRT these doses can be minimized to the surrounding structures and thereby improving the uh, side effect profile of the treatment. With IGRT, additionally, we have something called as image guidance, that is IGRT. We do a CPCT or a cone beam CT scan before treatment and thereby matching the intended areas of treatment or the targets. These targets have been delivered on the first day on the planning CT scan and then on each subsequent day of treatment, we try to match it with the same areas. So thereby improving the precision of delivery of radiation and also avoiding unnecessary organs that, uh, that are being irradiated. With this, we can reduce the PTV margins, thereby improving the side effect profile of the treatment and also be very sure of where we are trying to deliver our doses. So this helps us improve the patient outcomes. Coming to the side effects. So with the most modern techniques also, some of the side effects are unavoidable. However, with modern technology, these can be kept in a controllable thing and can be uh, kept in a under tolerable levels. So typically the skin of the neck turns black. Sometimes occasionally you may have peeling of the skin or we call it desquamation. Uh, with, uh, additionally there may be pain during swallowing. So it is odinophagia and some difficulty in swallowing that is dysphagia. With modern techniques of radiation like IMRT and IGRT, we can reduce the dose to the dysphagia associated structures. So, so the uh, structures which are involved in swallowing or in the voice box that are away from the target can be reduced, uh, we can reduce the doses to, uh, to these structures so as to improve the subsequent function of the patient. Uh, in certain cases, this dysphagia persists and that is why there is a, uh, there may be a requirement of a rice tube or some uh, support supportive care for uh, swallowing 
on a temporary basis. In very few cases, the airway because of the tumor may be threatened and additionally there may be edema that is developing in. So we may require some airway assistance. Usually these things it is better to assess before the start of treatment. In ideal scenarios, if we are requiring airway support, then those procedures need to be uh, undertaken before the start of radiation. These are temporary procedures and can be removed after the radiation has completed. In long term uh, side effects, sometimes we need to extend our uh, nodal volumes up to the base of the skull and in such cases we may have some dryness of mouth in long term effects. Otherwise with modern technology, delivery of radiation to these structures is quite safe and efficacious and the outcomes of these patients are wonderful if treated in early stages. At Manipal Hospital, Baner, Pune, we have the most modern technology and a state-of-art facility in the radiation department with a modern linear accelerator that helps in minimizing the side effects during radiation treatment and thereby improving the outcomes and improving the patient experience.